Hello, hello, my lovely Pisces. So this is going to be your timeless reading, okay? So um, this is what's being hidden from you. This is what's being shown. Why you have attracted this as well as your next action move. We're going to be looking at um, the possibilities around your action move, which will give you guidance as well. I pulled up some tarot cards. Um, for guidance or for clarity. Let's see what's going on. What's being hidden from you? We have number 24. The Lantern Fairy. A clear solution. So it looks like you ran into a, a wall. You're at a dead end, okay? You are totally at a dead end right now. What's being hidden from you? Let's see what's being shown to you. I'm Kylie. From death comes a rebirth. Okay, so Kylie has her heart, has her hand on her heart, and she wears skulls around her neck because she is, I don't want to say death, but yet she is number 13. Transformation. It's time for you to transform. It's time to face your true power, your true north, okay? Um, it's like a step back from my heart. She's saying step back from your heart. Use your intuition. Okay, you have to take action and communicate this. Okay, um, there's not stability. You're looking for some sort of stability here. And it's time that you heal as well. Okay, um, so why have you attracted this? Oh wow, okay. So again, the same old, same old, stiff old board and stuck. You feel stuck in a situation. You're hearing the same lecture over and over and over again. It's like, do I have to hear this again? Come on. Can we have this transformation, please? I feel like I'm stuck at a dead end right here. Pisces, you feel like you're stuck. You want some kind of rebirth. And guess what? It's coming, okay? It's definitely coming. Because you know why? Because you communicated exactly what it is that you needed to communicate for. Uh, you need to communicate this to the universe, okay? And you taking this knowledge in, you are rewarding yourself to a treat, the candy cane angel. It's time for you to treat yourself. Um, it's time for you to treat yourself. Go ahead and get that massage. Go ahead and eat that favorite food that you've been wanting, okay? Let's see what's going on here. What is being hidden from you? We have the High Priestess, knowing that there has to be some sort of completion to a situation. There's growth, there's prosperity here, but it's like, where's it at? I see you looking for it, okay? Um, I see you missing a situation. You could be dealing with Scorpio, you could be dealing with conflict over um, a heart foot, a heart shaped matter, okay? A heart felt matter. And, you know, you are turning into the hermit here because you're really um, guided to self-awareness. And with that being said, your heart is open and openly known that Saturn here is the godfather. And you could be dealing with a Leo, um, a Taurus, Aquarius, or a, a Scorpio. But this is a sense of an ending, a completion, a success. Okay, um, and with the success, it comes with heartache, but I don't feel like you're, you're the one being at heartache here. I feel like they are being at heartache here because, you know, you either hit a, some sort of brick road, you know, uh, wall with them. There was no stability in this relationship. There was no outcoming. This person didn't put in as what you did on the bottom of the deck. We have a judgment. So you guys could or you are given a second chance here, okay? We have the Hermit card again. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a fire sign as well, um, a fixed sign. Um, so this is a chance of um, from death comes to rebirth. So you're standing up for what you believe in, okay? Not only that, you are healing behind these wounds that have that have hurt you, okay? Um, and not only do they hurt you, but they hurt your person as well. You're coming out as the Nine of Coins, so you're coming out victorious, okay? Um, 
And with that being said, it's like, you're wearing this mask though, you're not knowing um, exactly, uh, you know, you're needing to go more within the heart space so that you can find that passion that lights your inner, in, your inner uh, wildness, your inner, um, your, your inner animal instincts, so to say, that fire, that passion inside you so that you can heal, okay? Because I feel like, you know, that flame was put out. And that flame was put out because, you know, you guys hit some sort of brick wall in the situation. There was no ending. There was no outlet, okay? You were sick of the same old, same old. And um, to get to, to, to get past that, you had to put an ending to that, okay, Pisces? And with that being said, yeah, you took this energy. You guys could have been twin flames, but you married this person. They married you. You seen what they seen in you, and you had to block that. You didn't like it. You blocked it. You said, you know, I have to plan ahead. I have to be right in my stance, and I will do to what I think is right because I have the knowledge and the will to move past and beyond anything that distracts me from my well-being, okay? Although I have been hurt. They have been hurt, okay? Um, I feel like you have been hurt here, Pisces, but you're still holding on strongly here to your beliefs and your 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 wants um, within your emotions. You are a very loving person here as well as this person is very loving and they feel you on an emotional level, but yet sometimes they could be hard, okay? They can be hard and they cannot show their love. But for some reason, I feel like this person is going through a healing process and they are holding on to their passion, okay? And they're holding on to their passion and their emotions and they're healing with their emotions. They want to communicate to you. I do feel like they're building up the strength of the power, the courage to move further and um, to their wishes and their desires. They thinking about you. This person could be thinking about you. You could be thinking about the past as well, about how things could have changed, about what could have been said, what couldn't have been said, what you could have held back, what you shouldn't have held back or should have, okay? But now there's a sense of knowing where you belong, okay? There's a sense of gaining more inner sight and inner wisdom. Now it's time for you to treat yourself and stop feeling like the victim because this isn't you anymore, okay? And you're going to be receiving something here pretty soon, okay? I feel like you've been doing a lot of inner work and you will be um, receiving something here. Spirit is saying you are giving a second chance. You have made a strong, wise decision. Your heartfelt soul has guided you to that decision, okay? So I'm going to pull you a, a card here. Um, some cards here, and we're going to see the positive aspects within the situation. Okay, so this is you and um, balancing out the beauty within the situation and realizing that you are more beautiful than what you had expected, and you have a lot of wisdom beyond that, okay? Not only do you have wisdom, but you have a sense of guidance, a sense of balance, a sense of innermost um, intriguingness. You intrigue this person, okay? Spirit says you're very intriguing here. Okay, Pisces? Um, but there is a sense that you need to get your head out of the clouds, okay, and find the balance. But even though you are going through these cycles, you still hold that passion and that fear at ease, okay? Um, you really... Um, even though you are going through these cycles of time, you are definitely being protected and being guided. Um, we have number 19 and number 20, so this is progression. And number 3 here again. Okay, so yeah, um, taking action. You're taking action. You will take action. You have been taking action. I'm getting number 6 here as well. And number eight, okay, but this is a sense of, yes, I've made that decision. I feel the abundance. I'm having all these energies swarm around me, all this colorful energy. I will dance. I will feel the joy that has been left for me to, to have. But, and, okay, we, we are having a new moon come up. And before this new moon is going to be the void. And let's see when the new moon is.
the 20th. Okay, so on the 19th, um, this is the chance for you to um, find the will to take action, to step aside and rest. It's telling you to step aside and rest and release anything that you've been holding on to, okay? Release that energy. It's a cycle that you need to release. Follow your inner instincts. How old are you going to be? You know, this lady's old here and old and wise. You learned from the situation. It's time for you to release that energy so that you can heal and so that you can definitely treat yourself. You're being protected and peace is always at your side. With that being said, there is abundance of self-love here. Wow, so strong, Pisces. Okay, so please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification button and the bell. If you would like a personal reading, feel free to email me. Everything is in the description box below. Thank you so very much, guys. Peace and love. Namaste.